Hello everyone, Mr. Dino023 here, and today I'm gonna show you how to add interactive buttons on your layout so that people in Mixer can use their sparks for like flashy things that appear on your stream and other stuff. So we're gonna need uh, Streamlabs OBS, a uh, bot called Firebot, and I don't know, great ideas. I'm gonna link the descriptions below of everything that you need here. And if you like this video, remember to subscribe to the channel for more. Okay, let's go. So first, what you need to do is here uh, on Mixer, you're going to need to go here to where your avatar is. We're going to click on that to bring up this menu and we're going to go to Dev Lab. So once you're here in Dev Lab, you have to go here, Mix Play Projects. This is where you're going to be creating the buttons here. If you don't have something here that says interactions, uh, I created it as interactions, you can just put anything here, I don't know, like tutorial, let's call this tutorial. Uh, you don't, uh, a game, I'm just gonna put like uh, Cuphead, because that's a game that I play a lot. But yeah, you can pretty much name this whatever you like, that's like, doesn't really matter, just a name that you remember. That this is like the panel where you, all your buttons are gonna be. Alright, so once you have created that, we're gonna go here to build. And we're gonna need to create a button here. So there's many different type of things. If you explore more these options, you can create like a joystick or like a mouse click or other things. But we're just gonna create interactive buttons right now. All right, so I'm gonna be creating one that is called tapioca because that's the name of my dog. And I want my dog to appear on stream everybody every time somebody clicks on the tapioca button. So you're gonna see this little red warning here because you need to set up uh, the name for this, this is the name, this is the name that the viewers are going to see on your stream on the interactive button. This is how they're going to be looking at. And the spark cost, uh, I'm going to put like uh, 500 cost here. Uh, you can put many other things here, you can read later what each thing is and you can just play with them, test them on your stream, but this is all we need for now. So once you set up the name and the spark cost, you can close that menu. And now you need to drag your button to your grid. All right, so this grid right here is how people in a computer are gonna be able to see the buttons that you have available for your stream. If you wanna add those buttons also for tablet users in like portrait mode or landscape mode or cell phone users, you need to add the button here also into the other menus. That way, everywhere people is gonna be able to use your buttons, okay? I recommend, I recommend you doing them as small as possible However, if you want to do them like large or something so that they caught people's attention uh, in a better way, you can also do that. But I, I just do them as small as possible because that way uh, you're going to be able to fit more buttons in your stream, you know? Alright, so once we have created our button here, we need to go here to the, the option that says code. And we're going to copy this, this number. It's very important to copy that number. We're going to be using that on Firebot, okay? So now we're going to go to Firebot. This is how Firebot looks like the first time that you log in. You can log in with two different accounts. One is uh, the streamer account and the other one is the bot account. You don't really need to add a bot account. As long as you have a streamer account, that's fine. So the bot is, if you have like a wacky name for a bot that is actually helping you, if you have another Mixer account, you can log in as a bot, but that's not needed. The only one that you actually really need is to log in with the streamer, okay? So make sure you log in with the streamer one. So this is, uh, let's gonna, we're gonna go ahead and add our first board in here. So go ahead and click on uh, add board. And here is where we're gonna enter the code that we just copied, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and click add board. Okay, so here we have it. Uh, let's click on resync. Uh, it's not showing tapioca for some reason. I guess I'm gonna close Firebot and I'm gonna open it again. Uh huh. Firebot. Let's see if it shows it in a moment now. Uh, it's not showing tapioca in here. Oh, I know why it's not showing. It's very important that you do this, guys. Once you have added your button, you need to click save, you know? <laughs> that way, now if we sync it, 
is actually gonna show the tapioca so it's very important guys don't forget to click on save once you have added your buttons okay otherwise as you saw it's not gonna be showing here on the board All right so now that we have our button in here we need to click on edit to make it do whatever we want you can change the spark cost here as well you can put a cooldown for people not to spam it see this is in seconds for so for example I'm gonna put 120 seconds so that way nobody will be able to use this button until like two minutes have passed you can create groups in here uh, or just allow for individual usernames to be able to use the, the specific buttons uh, and stuff like that we're gonna allow everybody to use it so we're gonna put none that means that everybody can use it it's not restricted to a certain group or a certain individual okay and what do we want this to do I want this to show my dog and I want it to show my dog barking okay so we're gonna go ahead and click add effect okay so I'm gonna want it to show to show an image okay and for the image I want it to show uh, where do I have it here should be here uh, here here mixer uh, Firebot, okay, th there it is. I want my dog, okay, so I already have my image for my dog, so I want my dog to be here. Where do you want it to appear? You can just select uh, like a sector of the screen, or if you put it in custom, you can select the actual pixels where you want it to show. But I want it to appear in this bottom right corner here. I want the enter animation to be a, a fade in, a fade in, that's fine. And f uh, to go out, I want it to slide to the left of the screen, okay? Uh, I want it to last for a total of 8 seconds. Okay, now I also want my dog to bark, right? So let's go ahead and add another effect. We're gonna show an effect of a sound. We're gonna have it play a sound. We're gonna choose our sound file. I hope I have it here. Puppy dog barking. There you go. All right, so that's make sure to set up the, the the volume so that it doesn't break people's ears, you know, like test it before like setting it up on stream. And we're gonna add the sound, okay? So we have the button text, we have the spark calls, we have the cooldown second, we have what we wanted to do, what's the sound we wanted to do. So we're gonna be saving changes, all right? So now, how do I show this on stream? You need to add something that is called the CLR browser. So for that, we're gonna go to settings here. We're gonna go to overlay in here and we're gonna get the get overlay pad. So you need to have this. This you can just copy. This is like a, a, a URL, okay? So just copy that. Remember settings, overlaid, get overlaid pad, copy that, okay? So you need to add that to your stream layout. So I'm gonna be bringing this here it's gonna look a little bit crazy because ooh, inception right here all right so in this inception we're gonna I already added a, uh, a source here called firebot uh, where is it there it is but uh, let's just delete that let's add it from the beginning so that you guys see it so we're gonna need to add a new source here okay so once you click on add a new source now you're gonna need to select a browser source here it is browser source add source uh, you can just I, I would recommend you guys naming it firebot because most likely you're gonna be having a lot of different sources uh, you're gonna put it uh, uh, here you're gonna put like the actual URL this is not a real internet URL but doesn't matter just put it like there and put the width and height at the same that you have your stream setup at mine is 1980 by uh, 1080 I think it's 1960 by 1020 yeah it's whatever the 1080p is okay yeah leave everything like that just click on done uh, make sure to adjust the size of it to the size of your uh, Canva in here uh, there you go uh, I think I've, it's 1920 it's 1920 by 1080 but again that depends on the size of the resolution that you have your stream on okay so once we you set it up so that it fits your screen in here uh, we're gonna put it back here 
you can actually you you need to log in i mean you need to turn the firebot on okay so just press on this toggle right here to turn it on if you see if you hear that sound and everything here looks green it means that you have added it properly if you want to test your button you can test it right here and see tapioca what's up tapioca hey tapioca yeah just go girl all right so there it is that's tapioca right there it didn't do what I wanted for going out so exit uh, slide out right maybe I don't know let's uh, test it again Ah, she's not sliding I would need to look at that to see what's going on but I mean you get the idea like over here it's pretty much where you can edit everything you want to edit here so I mean just play with it uh, add any sounds images and there's many many other things just play with firebot you know how to add the buttons to your stream now they're gonna be now showing for everybody when they watch you and well I hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any questions make sure to join the team GG discord that I'm gonna leave in the description below as well I'm part of team GG there's many other cool streamers there uh, like speedrunners fortnite players and other things if you're starting to stream on mixer if you're a new streamer or you're looking for a team on mixer please make sure to join us uh, we're gonna be glad to have you there and well subscribe to the channel give it a like thank you and see you next mission